What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. What is up guys? Today it is Friday, September 22nd. Yes, it is Friday, September 22nd and 11.30 a.m. and I've already had my first nap of the day. So guys, I'm up at 3 a.m. every single day to do my first round of cardio and then um, get up early, do my cardio, come back, shower, get dressed, ready for work. Um, I have to go to the gym uh, starting at 5 a.m. and I've got clients usually until uh, roughly, oh, lost my, lost my light. Lost my light. Where's the light? Okay. And then um, I have clients from like around 5 a.m. till about 10 a.m. That's when I normally get my workout in and then I hit another round of cardio and during that time is when I am rolling out more content, doing TikToks, posting on Instagram. Like I literally just flood my social media between like 10 a.m. and noon. <laughs> so, um, but today you guys, I did not actually work out. I just finished up with my clients at eight and then I went ahead and did my second round of cardio, got in the sauna. <sighs> Let me just explain to you guys what's been going on. All right, you guys. So <laughs> essentially, um, obviously you guys know uh, we're going to the Olympia. We're gonna go watch uh, for the first time, I think in like three years, so I'm really excited to go. So I am looking to now drop some weight as well, just so I can feel like I'm dieting, they're dieting, let's have a good time. Um, and my weight has gone up and it was coming down. I was nearing like the 139s, 138s, 137s. And then it slowly started coming back up. It was like 140 and then 143. And then I hit my periods and then it was like 145. And now I woke up this morning at 150. <laughs> what happened? Um, the only thing I can really say, um, inflammation and um, being probably a little inconsistent with my water and then my cheat meals, um, we're going to switch some things up there because it's just not working out. First and foremost, you guys, this week my weight has shot up about six pounds and um, I'm not happy about that. And although I, because I take progress photos, I just kind of want to see where I'm at. I do that after my cardio and um, I'm up about six pounds and I don't know what's happening because it's like I'm drinking my water. You know, I try to get in close, if not a gallon, close to a gallon. I'm working out every day, about five days a week, and I'm doing my cardio. And the only thing I can really equate it to is my body is wrecked. Anytime someone like smacks my leg or is like pushes me at the gym, or whatever, I am in excruciating pain. So, um, so it kind of sucks, but like I can literally feel when I walk, my legs shake and it doesn't feel like fat. It truly really just feels like I'm inflamed. My body is so mad at me. So I started looking back and I was like, I actually have not gone in for a massage, for my cupping treatments, for a chiropractor, or anything since 2021. Now, that was when I was in my peak. 2021, two years ago, I was in my peak bodybuilding bikini phase. Like I was competing all the time. It was like the best shape of my life. I was very dieted down. To me, I was that's probably as close as to stage lean um, that I've really been like in my life. I looked really, really good. And um, now in 2022, I did put on more muscle, but it was really hard for me to lean out. Got my blood work done. My TRT, my testosterone was very low. So did like a three month um, or like a 90 day period. Got my, um, of taking TRT and then got my, um, went in for another round of blood work. We're good, we're getting better, we're within range. And I decided to call it quits because I was competing or trying to still compete as well, but my weight was coming up because the extra testosterone and everything. And I'm like, I'm just not a fan. So I was like, let me be healthy and then let me kind of just sit in it. So we did, so got healthy. We cut off any sort of like plans we had to do shows and just decide to focus on weightlifting and getting healthy. Now, fast forward to this year, we decided to do shows and it is so hard for me to cut down. And the only thing I can really equate it to, um, it took me a long time to get my head in the game. Where are you guys? <laughs> Sorry guys, um, I have to literally go to my massage right now. So we're gonna finish a little conversation in the car. Hopefully you guys don't start slipping and sliding everywhere. I apologize. 2022 was really hard for me to lose weight. Um, really body fat, my, I've had great shape, my muscle was popping, but my body did not wanna let go of any sort of body fat. So we did one show, I think did we do two, maybe two and called it. Like I was so, I tried to do a national show and stuff. I could not get lean enough and we ended up calling it, I think like three weeks out. Um, there's a whole vlog on, I quit my show, I think 10 days out, whatever the vlog is. So, um, hold on one second. I want you guys to slide. 
fast forward to this year, I've now done a show and same thing is happening. And I'm like, what is happening? So um, I probably need to go back in to get more blood work done to see what's going on. So um, did a show, uh, placed well, we got nationally qualified, but it was not good enough to go to nationals. And so still tried to be, uh, still tried to diet down and everything. And it was just like, guys, my body is fighting me and fighting me hard. So I'm also someone though, if you don't give me a goal, like it's really hard for me to just go to the gym to go to the gym. Like I need to be very goal oriented. I'm very like competitive within myself, not really other people, but I want to do better than I did last time. I want to see my weight drop. I want to see my increased muscle and everything. So my body's just really fighting me. And then like, it took me really until this week, um, like my feet hurt, they hurt so bad. It's like, oh, maybe I need some new shoes. Got some new shoes helped a little but my feet are killing me and I'm like oh my god I have not gotten my body work done since 2021 I am probably full of like inflammation I've got knots on knots it's to a point now where I feel like I'm so sensitive now I don't know if this like equates to like why it's really hard for me to lose weight or anything but um I probably need to go back in for another blood panel I haven't done that since last summer so I probably do need to go back and kind of see what's going on but I am hurting so bad it's got to a point now where now I look puffy. Like this was not the face that I had. I, I had a cute little diet face starting to come in, strong jawline, and now I feel like I'm just rounded and I just don't, like my wrist and stuff, they're not, usually I'm like, okay, but I feel puffy and I just like, I see, I see it in my ankles and I'm like, I am completely inflamed. So I did not work out today. I did my cardio, did the sauna and my body was just releasing sweat and it felt really, really, really good to be in the sauna. So I looked up this lady on Groupon because I was like, I don't know where to go. So I went on Groupon and I don't know if like people still even use it, but I did. So I went on Groupon, I got two sessions. So today we're gonna do a lymphatic drainage, which that's what I was doing when I was going to Wink Beauty Bar, but my girl left me. She left, um, I think early last year. Um, yes, yeah, so it's been over a year not quite two years, but for sure over a year. She left me last year to go uh, on the East Coast and that's where she's at living now. And so I haven't done that. And before her, I didn't have a masseuse or anything. So my guy that was giving me a massage, he moved away. So I'm like, oh my God, I need help. So we're checking out this girl. Um, she's very like hippie and she seems very sweet, very kind. Um, I'm not into like Reiki or energy or crystals or anything. So I'm really hoping like, we just know you need to get into that girl get I don't even get into crystals get into these legs <laughs> like let me feel so much better so I'm hoping that's kind of like the game plan here so I went to her yesterday to schedule an appointment and she was um it was like uh, I don't know how to explain it but it was just really like hippie chic I guess the only way I can really describe it I'm not really sure what the right verbiage is um super sweet girl so anyway we are on our way right now to go get it's just a 30 minute lymphatic drainage and then on Tuesday I'm gonna go see her for a massage it's her version of like a deep tissue it's called like a but it's like a Hawaiian little breeze I don't know she named it something else to fit her aesthetic but I'm telling her like well, I did tell her I wanted to be more of like a deep tissue so but we're doing that on Tuesday so this vlog, I've gone off on so many little rants or it was like one big story. I don't know. I do apologize. But guys, this vlog, we're going to encompass Friday through Sunday. we got some cool things happening this weekend. And I'm like, why don't we just make one big vlog instead of like three little 10 minutes, unless, unless you guys prefer that. Um, I'm trying, I love the vlogs when they're like 30 and 40 minutes long because that's about how long I do cardio. So I prefer just one long, I feel like I'm watching a movie, you know, and I feel like that's YouTube. It's very long. Oh, what is it long form format so let's do it um but yeah so i got some cool things happening uh, today's gonna be kind of chill like i said I just did my cardio and all that sort of stuff i don't really have anything planned today maybe a client or two um i may go to the pool it's a nice day i feel like I'm, my cortisol levels have been high because of stress and then work and blah, 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 blah. so many crazy things happening in my life guys and like every time i go to tell you guys another story i'm like oh but there's this oh but there's this Oh, but, so guys, just know my, this vlog may be kind of all over the place, but we're going to do very little editing, and we're just going to, I'm throwing up on YouTube, and guys, here we are. So, I will see you guys at my massage if she lets me record. If not, I'll see you guys back at home, because it'll be lunchtime, and potentially a nap, a pool, chores, clients, I'm not really sure. <laughs> see you guys soon.
Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit you guys so this morning I kind of took you guys a little bit through <laughs> like just a quiet chill morning i um, got a lot of stuff done because today we are going to brunch fest <laughs> are you a judge this year like yeah. last time mm -hmm. you're just promoting I'm just uh, media okay. so I'll just be doing some media stuff technically everybody there is a judge the, <clears throat> the what the brunch fest is is basically uh, it's a, an event Put together by All Access Entertainment, led by Mike Anthony, and uh, he brings together all the top brunch places in San Antonio. There may be more; they're just not into the contest. But I think there's like at least 20, maybe 30 different uh, restaurants going to be there, all in one area, and they are competing for the best brunch in San Antonio. Right? So they give out top three and reason why I say everybody is a judge is because they do have main judges where their votes matter pretty much the most but then there's also a crowd winner as well so if the crowd thinks that particular brunches are good everyone has these little tickets you go around you get to taste all the different brunches from every from uh, from all the different restaurants and you give them a ticket if you think that their brunch is top tier and that's pretty much it so I think you get like one or two or three tickets. I don't know how it works. Each year, it kind of, they tweak it to make it better. But um, you got your crowd vote. You got your winner, your uh, your voters' votes. You know, so whoever he picked to be judges this year. Uh, but we're going out there today to be media, and it's going to be a good time, man. We're just going to have fun with it. We're going to try a bunch of different brunches. She can't try too much because she's competing right now. But I can. <laughs> I can do what I want, so. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna go in, cause I can't. Yeah, so, so. We'll, we'll meet up with some friends there. Yeah. Um, it's always a vibe, man. All of San Antonio goes out there. Uh, and I've been, I grew up here, so a ton of my friends I'm pretty sure I'll run into, and this is gonna be a great time. So we're doing that today, it's gonna be really fun. Um, and like you said, I'm not eating. Um, we're going to the Olympia, so. Um, that's why I brought my meals with me. You guys saw me pack my breakfast and stuff. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna do this and then we're just gonna have a good time. So yesterday after my massage, I just, I went home, took a nap 
and then got a little bit of work done and I didn't really do too much exciting things so I didn't pick up the camera but I did get my lymphatic drainage and she gave me a lot of great information um, if you guys want information I'll be happy to give it to you down in the comments but um, yeah but it was really good so I'm gonna see her again on Tuesday for a deep tissue which that's really what I need please like, I have so many knots in my legs and in my feet just from all the cardio and training sessions and like I said yesterday I haven't really gotten body work done about a year and a half to two years so um, just went home yesterday and there was nothing exciting so I did pick up the camera but today's a busy one we got a lot going on so um, we're just gonna kind of take you guys through our day and just kind of you know little day in the life vlog for you guys today and kind of like a full day of eating so we will see you guys at brunch fest see y'all there <laughs> I changed, I brought an extra just white t-shirt because my red one is completely drenched. It's so hot today. What do you think it is, like 105 today? An easy 105? Yeah, well I looked it up. It said it was going to be somewhere around 90, but... That's not true. San, here's, here's the deal. Here. San Antonio's 80, 90, 100 degrees is about 20 degrees hotter than anywhere else in the world. So it's... <laughs> in the world? Here. In the world. Not Africa. Bro, no. I will literally choose. I, you know what? I bet you I'm moving back to Africa. Because this is too this is too hot. I've never been to Africa, but I'm moving back. <laughs> ancestors. My ancestors. My ancestors would have wanted to move back to Africa over this I show. feel like they would just this jump in a lake. I bet you they just jumped in a lake. You don't even do that. In a lake? Yeah. That's racist. No, to cool off? No, I racist. bet you they would. Who wouldn't jump in a lake to cool off? We live it. We don't wear the lakes around here. 
We live in a pool. There are pools everywhere. I literally you talking said, about jumping a lake. I literally said your ancestors probably jumped in a lake in Africa to cool off. And you don't even jump in a lake or nothing. You can't say that, though. Why? Yes, I can. I'm half black. Literally. You're black? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Drink your water that I gave you. Anyways, we're going to go do other things now, guys. All right, guys. Really quick, I want to show you guys what I'm eating. This is my meal, too. I'm supposed to have it at noon, but it's like 12.38. We just got back to the car. This is three ounces of ground beef and then two ounces of sweet potato. And then I eat at two, four, six, and eight, I think. Anyway. Happy guys I'm finally now just getting home and it is six o'clock which is time for another meal um oh my god it's stuck hold on so <sighs> I did really good I ate all my food that I brought with me and we actually got home before, like earlier than I thought so um the little there it is the little um because the next meal, essentially all my meals today were like three ounces of protein, three ounces of veggie, and then every other meal had three ounces of carb. So I'm in a no carb, low carb, no carb meal right now. So I did not want green beans. I was like, I just want like a good juicy salad. So I just went to H-E-B <laughs> and I got this guy. If you could see how small this is, you guys, like it's tiny. But it's just a little bit. I uh, got a Greek salad. And then I took my protein, my three ounces of beef from a previous meal or the meal that I was supposed to eat right now. And I'm going to eat that. I've got my water right here. So I am chilling out. I'm going to watch a movie or something, a show, eat this, probably take like a 20, 30 minute nap. And then I have to get back to work. I have some check-ins to do with my clients today and stuff. So this makeup though. This lighting looks really good with my makeup because outside we were sweating. It was a lot going on. So it's been a long day, but I will see you guys in a little bit. I just need a moment to decompress. You know what I mean? I just need a moment. <laughs> What is up YouTube? It has been a full 24 hours since I last vlogged, um, but I did get a lot of stuff. Uh, I did shoot a lot of things. It was just on my phone um, because I was meaning to pick up the camera all day, but then I would leave it here, leave it there, and I just didn't, didn't vlog on my actual vlog camera. Um, but I am just now getting back from a photo shoot. It is 8.51 Sunday night. Um, and so I really didn't have a lot to vlog today. I was at home working and kind of cleaning and things, ran some errands for super fresh meals, you know, work things. And then I wanted to shoot the photo shoot. And like I said, I did get some things on my phone. While I wash my makeup off, I want to insert the clips right here. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Go wish. Go wish. Go wish. Go wish. Go wish. Go wish. You can sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You can sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You can sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You can sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit.
to get ready for tomorrow. Um, but I need to make my, where's the lighting? There it is. Um, but I need to make my celery juice because we're getting back on that. I had a couple days without it, just ran out of what I needed. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my celery juice. I think I showed you guys this in the last vlog, um, but I know I've been showing a couple people on Instagram. Well, like I've been sharing to my Instagram stories and a couple people have asked how I make it and it's just really simple. So I'm gonna make it again and I'm gonna show you guys what I do. And then after that guys, we're just gonna close it out. So, and I also need to eat again. I remember, I don't forget, bitch, I'm everywhere in town Thinking about the ways to get my bread up Trying to see the train where was up I got no resentment, no vendetta Yeah, she told me up because I let her Bet I eat that bar like it's a setup Pussy dripping down, I know she let us I don't want the silence I've been overseas looking on us They looking at me, choosing violence yeah. Keep it on the low, you know that's the code Okay, baby, that's the code You already know Got a bad bitch from the 902 and 0 Stacking all these anthems and I'm only 24 I'ma make them dance, yeah Cushion my advance, yeah I eat all that fake shit on the surface in my soul, yeah I can feel my heart be racing, I'm just trying to cope you know that I'm faded when I really do the most, yeah Bitch, you got me jaded if I turn into a ghost For my last meal of the day, I'm gonna make some protein pancakes Essentially egg white pancakes Let me show you guys how I make it This is kind of like my version of the Laura Lee Chipotos Like Hulk pancakes, if you've ever seen them um, I don't really have all of the ingredients So we're kind of gonna do like a little makeshift right now <laughs> Everybody talking like they made it to the top, yeah Knowing when I get there, they just wanna be like me You'll be disappointed when you know I'll never stop, yeah Thinking you should mind your business, turn around and leave I remember, I don't forget, bitch, I'm everywhere in town Think about the ways to get my bird up Trying to see the train, we rose up I got no resentment, no vendetta No tang up the street from Kendall Jenner on a cap and on a sweater no cattle, cattle. You think that you know me But you never go yeah. I don't want the side Alright guys and These are my protein <laughs> Egg white pancakes um, But I'm going to close the vlog out here you guys I am very tired um, 9.20 and I'm going to eat this And get ready to go to bed I have to be up at 3am tomorrow I know, crazy But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog Spent the weekend with me Um if you guys did like this vlog, please feel free to like and subscribe down at the bottom where it really does help my channel out. And don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next. I do have a full like workout vlog coming, just raw, um, unedited, and just throwing it up so you guys can see my workout in real time. So I do have that coming, so stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.